Perception, it's Miss Hush again. I've so enjoyed reading our favourite five this week with you, Harry McClary's Rumpus at the Vets. Now, Harry McClary is actually a whole set of books, and I thought today maybe we could share a different one. I have chosen this one, Harry McClary's Scattercat, because in Harry McClary's Rumpus at the Vets, everything becomes such a commotion and a kerfuffle because the cats chase the birds. And in this story, Harry McClary wants to chase some cats. Let's have a read. Harry McClary felt bumptious and bustly, bossy and bouncy, and frisky and hustly. He wanted to run. He wanted to race. But the main thing he wanted was something to chase. Greywack Jones was hunting a bee, but along came Harry McClary and chased her high up in the sycamore tree. Butterball Brown was washing a paw, but along came Harry McClary and bustled him under a rickety door. was patting a ball, but along came Harry McClary and chased her away over Pemberton's wall. Slinky Malinky was down in the reeds, but along came Harry McClary and hustled him up into a drum full of weeds. Mushroom McGee was asleep on a ledge, but along came Harry McClary and chased her away through a hole in the hedge. Down on the path by an old wooden rail, twitching a bit, was the tip of a tail. That's a bit like in the rumpus at the vets, where Harry McClary twitched his tail and the cook. The cockatoo tweaked it. I wonder what's going to happen here. With a bellicose bark and a boisterous bounce, Harry McClary was ready to pounce. But around came Scarface Claw. Who bothered and bustled him, rustled and hustled him, raced him and chased him all the way home. The end. So that story ended with a cat chasing Harry McClary. So it wasn't so different from the rumpus at the vets after all.